South America, a spacious land extending from tropical equatorial forests to frozen tundra, inhabited by indigenous people with ancient traditions and deep mysterious cultures. Like North America before the turn of the 1900s, it was also a land of opportunity, a magnet of immigration from Europe and Asia. Some immigrants came seeking gold and power, some sought asylum, others were looking for homes where they might find peace and sustenance. The wanderers were no longer guided by the North Star in the nightly sky. Rather, they found the Southern Cross and a climate exactly in reverse to what they knew. Still an environment in which it was important to transmit to their sons and daughters the history, language, religion, and culture of their ancestors. Funding for We Never Don't Forget, Germans from Russia in South America, is provided in part by Arthur E. Flagel, Maria Kaiser McTavish, Michael M. Miller, Donald C. Schenk, Eric J. Schmaltz, and the members of Prairie Public. I love my grandpa because he was a guy that has, had courage. He did things that uh, few people do. And he started uh, a business with no money. A and he just worked. My grandpa, only he only knew how to work. We can see the photos and he uh, talked about the history from the Mennonites when they came from Russia to Germany and later here to Brazil. And I remember when he was a child, we make a trip with all the family to the old Whitmersum, to the colony, and he present here we was, uh, here we, my parents lived, and so he present us all the history from this place. One of the many groups seeking a new life from their home were Germans from Russia, a group of people who had left Germany as early as 1763 and settled near the Volga and the Black Sea in Volhynia and Bessarabia, Mennonites as well, all of whom who had begun to look for new homelands as early as the 1870s. Many went to North America and settled in the Great Plains, wheat farmers as they had been in Russia. Others heard of opportunities in South America. There was so much poverty in Russia. There weren't any jobs in these years, and the boys had to serve so long in the military. Oh, they told us the, the wonderful time they had in Russia. In these years when they had the freedom, and when the law of Russia gave the guarantee, you can have all your own schools, you are free from the military service, and many privileges. All this fall down when there came this um, revolution of the communists. The, the government take the land away and uh, our people lost all the freedom what they had. Until this time, the government shut our schools and our churches and many of our people died. This was the reason for the flight to Brazil. They had a very good life, but they didn't serve the military service and the government obliged the new German to, to go to the armed forces. They didn't accept this. It was very difficult because this service was for seven or five years. And another thing was that they, they didn't have lands for them. So too many children and the land that was offered by Catherine II is coming Smaller, smaller, smaller. We have to, to go to the, to the America. 